Now that the pair of historic working boats gifted to the Shrewsbury and Newport Canals Trust have finally arrived at Norbury Wharf, restoration work has begun. The boats, built in 1936 by Harland and Wolfe on the Thames at Woolwich, are Bainton and Berkhamstead, and working parties from the Trust are now starting the long process of restoration, initially working on the unpowered butty Berkhamstead. The Shrewsbury and Newport Canal Trust team, advised by trustee and historic boat fanatic David Ray, is working under the leadership of another trustee, Phil Jones. And Roger White, the man who gave the boats to the Trust, is now helping with the restoration of them. He operated the boats as camping boats, offering holidays to groups of people, often youngsters, around the canal system for many years. And of course, he knows each vessel inside and out. Now, once the detritus of many years is cleared away, Phil Jones and his volunteers plan to bring Berkhamsted up to, up to scratch before doing it all over again with Bainton, as he explained. Yeah, so we arrived here Wednesday afternoon, pouring down with rain, joyous, and uh, we moored them up about a third of a mile up the moorings on the right hand side. And uh, I've since spoke to CRT, who is very, very uh, kindly of sponsoring the project by letting us use their canal river trust mooring in the middle of Norbury Wharf. Which is... They've given you some storage here as well? Yes, they've given us storage, yeah. I've got a wooden shed that I can put all my things in. Yeah, so it is really, really uh, a great response from them, uh, having asked them. Uh, so we're here now, we're doing one boat at a time. The first one we're doing is the Butty, the Hampstead. And what we're doing at the moment is we're virtually descaling it, cleaning out the hold completely of all the rust which is on the floor. Then we're going to assess uh, what we've got to do, uh, take a little bit more paint off on the inside, but the main operation will be in November when we're going to take it into dry dock and do uh, a non-destructive test on the thickness of the holes to see what work we've got to do on the outside of the holes. So it will be painted black then, then brought back here and finished off. So you're hoping there aren't too many thin patches and you don't need to patch it up too much? Yes, that's what we're hoping <laughs> for at the time being. Uh, having the rigours of being on the canal for 20 years and never moved, no leakage, as you can see now, she's still in water. So she, she was tremendously good over the six days we actually sailed her with no problems whatsoever. She's so, bone dry, isn't she? Absolutely. I mean, the, uh, the knees seem a bit thin in places. Yes, they look like yes. They need some work So on. what we've got to do is uh, to cut the knees out in section and then we've got to get a system done where we can actually re-weld the new sections back in and then plate it all, paint it all over and then what we're going to do is make a false floor. Wooden floor, okay. which is normal, yes. normal practice, and these new things. gunnels, and, yeah. and new deckings on the top. Yeah, they've come off completely. The gunnels. Yes, we took them off. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. So, what about the cabin? What sort of state? The is cabin that is in? very, very good inside. It's luckily it's bare wood, fitted really well, and it's not been varnished or nothing. So what we're going to do the rest of this afternoon is take everything out of the cabin, put it into storage and then we're going to hoover the floor, the sections and everything and we, then we're going to paint the floor with a base paint, uh, paint and then we're going to kept, uh, make a new flooring inside the cabin so we're going to do that first. So I mean, you've got quite a few here, I'm just trying to do a quick count. It's about a dozen of you in there, isn't it? A dozen of us, yes. Yeah. 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 And they're all Canal Trust yes. Um, yes. volunteers. Yes, volunteers, yeah. yeah. I mean, do, you, do you have particular skills with boats, or are you learning as you go along? I've never worked on a... I've worked on mer uh, Merchant Navy vessels, but I've never worked on a canal boat before. And what so about your team? Are, are they, no, they, have? they haven't, no. Some of them have actually been on pleasure boats uh, one day. One of them actually owns a boat, mm. but no, they've got no experience. And we're being kindly guided by David. Ray. David Ray is the, the director of Norbury War and his father Graham who's retired has just gone back to Spain but he's coming back and he's going to assist us again. Yeah, so yeah. they're telling us uh, the way forward, what to do, etc and so forth. So that's useful. So I mean you have some sort of time scale, you've got to have most of this done by November when you go into dry dock. Yes, yes. 
And uh, then will you, will you switch to the other, to the motor no, at that point? No, we will finish uh, Burke Hampstead. There's welding at the front to do, inside. Uh, there's all sorts of things got to be done. So we're going to finish one boat off completely first. Yeah. And then make it, uh, it will be, um, say that the main problem, it's back end, is a good cabin. We're just going to paint it, sign write it, finish it completely. Yeah. Uh, okay. That cabin is, that cabin is, is, um, is steel outside, yes. isn't it? steel, yes. Uh, unlike the motor's cabin, it's which is wood. wood. Yeah, yeah, it's wood. Yeah. So it's all good, it's integrated. Uh, we've got a few little leaks on the top of the roof, but apart from that, it's very, very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's all been fitted out professionally as well. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, so the wood, wood is good. Wood is good. For what it yes. Should be. The yeah. only thing is they've never fitted a floor, yeah. so we're going to fit a floor. Uh, if you look across <coughs> the other side of the canal, we've got another trustee, Alan Bonney, at the moment with his wife, and they're selling bric-a-brac uh, for that particular thing. So we're, we're actually doing a fund on site so he's asking people to donate money as and that they can see us working in the boat so you're fundraising time. for specific parts of the job yes. as you go yes as we go yes yeah the biggest part will, will be the paint uh, for internal and external yeah. uh, but the, I think the most cost will be on the gunnels themselves with being mahogany wood yeah. and getting them what you call steamed into shape because yeah. they can't fit you know, no, no, you have to that's, bend a, them. that's a bit of a specialist job. Yes, then, yes. Yeah. But David Ray knows someone who will do and yeah. assist us. But there were some big tanks in this, weren't there? Yes. Unfortunately, one was a sewage tank, which we didn't know. And when they lifted it out the other day, it leaked everywhere. <laughs> and it hummed. <laughs> yeah. So, and okay. that's gone for scrap metal towards the fund again. Yeah. 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 Glancing around, um, none of us are in the first flush of youth here. No. <laughs> no, no, we're not, no. But it's lovely to see such a turnout of um, personnel and uh, the actual owners here, yeah. uh, Roger White, and the guy who introduced us to him, Lawrence Cooper, is here as well, which is really, really nice. And I want them uh, to get integrated into uh, working with us, you know. Because I, I, when I last spoke to Roger, as you arrived here, he was in absolutely no doubt that he was definitely going to be back. And he's behind. Let's start by talking about how you have ended up here, Roger, because it's this bloke's fault, isn't it? <laughs> he blames me for everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened. Well, Lawrence was um, designing a car treasure hunt and happened on the, the trust, Shrewsbury and Newport Canal Trust. At Wappenshaw? At Wappenshaw, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, doing some work there. And uh, Lawrence having a bit of time on his hands, decided to join us. And to do that, because Lawrence knew me having the boat. Yeah. was talking to... Um, Bernie? Bernie, yeah. Bernie, talking to Bernie about them, and that's how it all happened. Yeah. Yeah. So you you were in, you, pers you persuaded him that this yes. was a good idea. Yeah, yeah well, I I I know Roger going back many many years and, and had a number of holidays on his boats. Um, oh, right. He used to run camping yeah. trips and and they, they, they were that they were what gave me my love of the canals. Yeah. And um, and uh, I knew that Roger's boats weren't being used and uh, and they still cost you money even you know if they're just moored up the side of the. Of, of, of the of the moorings and um, so I, I suggested to him that he, he have a chat with Wappenshaw guys SNTT and, and see if they'd be interested in in having them as like an exhibit yeah and of course they jumped at the chance yeah. so are you uh, are you enjoying it Roger? I, mean, I it's, am um, yeah it's <coughs> just lovely to see the boats yeah. you know. and of course you can tell these people where all the nooks and crannies are you know where it's oh, yeah. rusted out yeah. a bit and um, yeah uh, and where it needs a bit of TLC, don't yeah, you? What's been replaced? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. So I mean, you, it's useful having a consultant on site, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I said, what are you, or is he actually doing some work? I, 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 I am doing yeah, a little yeah, bit of work yeah, as well. I'm yeah. Yeah. Under, yeah. I really, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the day when Roger will be able to come up and the boats will be fully restored and in the basin at Wappenshaw, and he'll be able oh, to yeah. stand there and say, "These are my boats," yeah. you know, and, and be able to talk to you know kids from schools and say, "Well, I was a boatman on this, and this is what my life was yeah. like," you know, because it's a it's a it's a bygone world, isn't it? 